Italy, I cannot say fun. Uh, it's difficult. It's really difficult, and uh, every match is very tactical, and every match is a huge challenge to a coach. So to go there and to do what nobody did in the history of Italian football, which was win the the travel, is something I, I cannot forget. Why did you appoint Jose Mourinho? Uh, because Mourinho, the character, I liked a lot uh, the character of Mourinho and uh, of course the results. From the beginning I consider Mourinho special, special. It shouldn't be understated the ability to take a team out of Serie A at that time when it was probably at the lowest ebb ever. And he came along and he created this team that could go anywhere. The Italian establishment did not like Jose Mourinho. Of course, because they lose. Uh, <laughs> He's broken the system. He's broken the system, but also because the Inter wins, and that is something not really acceptable. <laughs> it all peaked one tempestuous night at the San Siro with a gesture that spoke volumes more than any Mourinho soundbite. The Italian referees' union threatened to go on strike before Mourinho was banned for three games. What is it about Mourinho's character that seems prepared to overstep a mark others wouldn't? It's Barcelona. If you subtract from Mourinho's dark side incidents involving Barcelona, he's only grey at worst. We had to face again the situation of play against them with 10 players. I think you could get the finest psychologist from Oxford University and get him or her to analyse Jose Mourinho's extraordinary relationship with Barcelona Football Club. Barcelona wants to be the best team on the pitch. Chelsea wants to be the best team on the pitch. I hope the referee wants to be the best team on the pitch. He perceives that you know, they look down on him. So I'm sure there is an element of wanting to prove his former paid masters wrong. I always believe in, in success and the reason why I left was because I believe I could uh, have a good future as, as a manager. When Jose Mourinho was a translator here, did you see him becoming the great manager he is today? No. I have to say that uh, if uh, in that time I would see uh, this talent, I would go to the president and say, oh, keep going here because this guy is good. In fact, six months after he left Chelsea, Mourinho held talks about becoming the next manager of Barcelona. He made a brilliant presentation to Barcelona's then sporting director, Tixi Berguristan. He thought that he could be the Barcelona manager. He, he kind of approached Barcelona if, if there was a possibility. And uh, I think all, all that built up in him. And, and, and obviously, whenever he plays against Barcelona, he, he probably sh thinks he has to prove himself. Mourinho's refusal to soften his abrasive style was the stumbling block. Instead, Barcelona would appoint a man fully ingrained in their more than a club tradition. Thank you, sir. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Two years later, Mourinho and Guardiola faced each other as managers in the last four of the Champions League. The semi-final tilts Mourinho's way. Mourinho's Inter had won the first leg 3-1. We have the dream to play the Champions League final. For Barcelona, it's not a dream. It's an obsession. There is a difference between a dream and an obsession. A dream is more pure than obsession. A dream is about pride. For them, this is an obsession, and the obsession is called Madrid and Santiago Bernabeu. Most of the teams, they don't know how to play against Barcelona. To play against a big team like Barcelona, you have to know exactly the qualities they have and exactly what you have to do. His philosophy is that you may have to play against a team who are better than you, but 
you have to find a way to win the game. And sometimes you have to accept that you're playing against a better team. Yes, better team, but not meaning the winning team. When Thiago Mota saw the red card, Barcelona dug out, was celebrating like a goal. I felt in that moment this, they, they were feeling the job is done. And I went there while Pepe was speaking with, uh, with Ibra to say, you think it is over, but it's far from over. Maybe to motivate myself, maybe to tell them uh, it's not like we think it's going to be. To play against Barcelona for an hour with 10 players in a, a Champions League semi-final in a stadium where uh, 100,000 people was playing, was, was an incredible achievement for us. We did it, uh, in my opinion, a brilliant way. Inter Milan will go to Madrid. And Jose Mourinho's moment has come again. Barcelona have mocked him. Now they fall to him. Once upon a time they called you the translator here, but is this one of your proudest moments as a manager? Yes. Is um, the most proud? Yes, yes. I won UEFA Cup final. I won Champions League final. I won big matches. I had great moments in my career. This one is the best one. <laughs> Jose Mourinho talked about Barcelona having this obsession to go to Madrid and that maybe that would undermine Barcelona. Was he correct? No, I did an answer to Mr. Mourinho. What about the way that the sprinklers came on at the end? Did you see that when your players were celebrating? Barcelona put the sprinklers on. They got a bit wet. But to clean our blood, because they left the, the skin, so we needed some, some water to clean the blood. My players left blood in, on the pitch. You can't help laughing sometimes when he, he's grappling with the goalkeeper of the opposing team. <laughs> they start to struggle and it gets a little bit ugly. Mourinho is the only football manager who celebrates a goal or a win in exactly the same style as his players. I've seen him skid onto the pitch on his knees. I've seen him leap onto another player's back. And that makes him one of the team, makes him the leader of the game. We said before the game, we go, go down, nothing changes, no, we need to... <laughs> I think he's quite pleased, isn't he, with that? He is happy, he wasn't happy at half-time, but, you know, he's much happier now. Testing one of his workers is always players want to play for him. We all know it's a result industry, but it can be made easier by players who commit themselves to you as, as a coach. And I think Joseph's got that um, rapport with all his players. To be a technically good coach is one thing, but what gives you the extra effectiveness is if the players love you. And love is not too strong a word. I would never think a guy who hadn't played the game could be a top coach. But then you've got to look at his personality. I think his personality does it. He's got a marvellous strong personality and I think that bridges that gap. My friend Louis van Gaal says, you wouldn't do the same as I did. He can't do because he's too slow. He can't run the way I can. I'm fast. I'm fast like a lion. I remember at, uh, at Inter, I wasn't sometimes part of the start eleven, but um, he's always find a time to, uh, to talk. If every single player put the team before themselves, they will be successful. And I think that is the strength of Jose Mourinho. <laughs> You must create a, a good leadership with the players, which is an accepted leadership, not the leadership by power, not the leadership by status. Make everybody feel part of a group, and I'm one of them. Why should one man be able to change the mentality of a whole team? Because he wins. He convinced the player that match by match we were better and better. Now Schneider back into Melito, transfer into Milan, Melito! Don't forget, English and Italian soccer, they've been competing in European trophies for many, 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 many years. Diego Melito, fantastic run, oh, wonderful goal! 
no one's ever won a treble, either, either of these countries, until Inter did it and we did it. The last minute when you feel you are European champions, the joy of the players, of the fans, of the president, being this match, the last one with Inter Milan, is even more emotional. History for Inter Milan. doing this is a man who is no longer acting I know he knows there's a camera there but there's something about this that is movingly genuine his bond with his his players is extraordinarily emotional and it works both ways they feel a uh, love for him that I've not heard expressed about any other managers I was crying because I was saying goodbye. Lots of players in the last part of their career, probably with the last chance or one of the last chances to win that competition, it was an incredible night for me. Probably one of my best nights in football. I think it's the best way to, to leave a team and to leave a job is to live that way, win the Champions League and leave. Jose Mourinho was named FIFA Coach of the Year for 2010. UEFA awarded him nothing.